I see. So the Dark Dragon's soul was already gone. Quite. Based on present intelligence, it most likely accounts for one of the Empire's souls. Which brings the number of World Dragon souls under Imperial command to three. Three too many. Then there's the Sea Dragon soul residing with this genus man. And we still have Yuma's Shining Dragon, of course. We're still in it. The three spears were just that. Spear points. Next will come the muscle, the twin blades of the Empire, to widen the gap. The odds are still stacked against us. At the least, we should talk to this man carting the Sea Dragon soul around and see if he won't pledge for our side. It's not gonna be like slipping a note under the door, you realize. It's not an easy guy to track down. Probably because he likes it that way. Just finding him is gonna be enough work on its own. He could be waltzing around the Imperial base by now, for all we know. For crying out. Doesn't anyone have good news? I wouldn't call it good news, but things don't seem to be going so smoothly on the Empire's end either. Allegedly, the friction between Princess Excella and the Church runs far deeper than we first presumed. I say allegedly because our informant on this matter is Beatrice, a known enemy agent. We'd best take her word with a grain of salt. It's vital information either way. Now, if only we could use it to our advantage somehow. We must end the occupation. The people are depending on us to protect them. Bring them peace. Father, with due respect, there's a line in the sand now. Why aren't we going on the offensive? The offensive? Sonia, I'm trusting you have some sort of plan when you say that. I do. It would seriously sway things if the Dragon Soul count was in our favor, right? What we should do is get behind enemy lines and take them back. Covert operations with a small mobile squad are what we do best, after all. Not a terrible proposal. Do we have any intelligence on where the Dragon Souls are being held? I can only think of two Imperial footholds where they'd be defended enough. Right, Captain Burroughs? That's about right. Last I saw a report, Imperial forces were reclaiming the old ruins of Fort Garol out in the desert. And there's another command post up Mount Glanciel, a stronghold called Olvenstein Keep. Enemy troops deploy mostly from those two points. If I were the enemy commander, and I needed to safeguard a world dragon soul on this continent, I'd take it back to one of those places. But how do we know which? Could be both, for all we know. Three souls, two strongholds. It shouldn't really matter which one we hit first, then, yeah? I'm just running the numbers here. Then why don't we do Glanciel first? When we went looking for the Dark Dragon's soul, those ruins felt like they were hiding something weird. Something weird? Yeah, we were only there to begin with because of that book we found, right? The one that went on about frozen ruins and secrets within. So I did a little more translation work. According to the book, there's a secret tunnel entrance right at the summit. A secret tunnel, huh? Sounds like a good way for us to slide right in, incognito style. All right then, it's decided. To Mount Glancio, 